Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Divinity Original Sin. In the last episode what we did was we found the prisoners, freed them from uh, the captivity of, uh, under the cellar, and found many good things. Now we're going to find out what's going on with these lads. Finally. Finally. Sword that gives me fucking... Leadership, please. Got some sweet weapons for you, eh? Got some sweet fucking weapons? Yeah, I know you do. One thing I don't like about this area is just the huge amount of, uh, the huge, huge amount of, like, noise that's going on all the time. I'm an old man. I don't like noise. I don't like noise. I don't like people. I don't like many things. But especially noise. Well, let's pay a bit of money. Get myself a nice dagger. Thank you, nut. Who are you exactly? Yes, indeed, it is. Whose coffee do you mean? Gratilda? Oh. Your honour as an orc. A bit of information well kept in our back pockets, I do believe. Yes, and I believe that too, because we're going to fucking sell him up the river. Up Shit's Creek without paddle. First one due to level difference, but I'll be level 18 soon enough. Right, let's have a look. We discovered an orc trader selling to Nebu merchandise, even though all to Nebu want to have been bought to Gratilda. Hello, Ogma. So you're the executioner here? I never did much care for the church itself. I'm more of a caretaker, you see. The world's a wild place, unpredictable at best. But here, on these gallows, there's peace, calm. I'll keep the order, and my little ones stay in line. My little ones, you mean the condemned? Condemned in this life, perhaps. But when they come to rest in my mercy, their sins are washed away. These hmm. old things and murderers and traitors, you see. After all, I've laid them to rest here. They're pure as angels. My little... You perform all the executions yourself? Most of them, yes. But that's far from my own order of business. Our great queen, Gratilda, is no stranger in her claws, bloody. And she'll not entertain to pluck out a pair of eyes for what looked at her sideways. Mm. I handle all the dreaming dears when she's done with them all as I my little ones are hers, makes no difference. I'm happy to bring them here to rest among me and mine. Tell me more about these men and orcs. It should be an honor. Where are we to start? Tell me about the man on the far left. Paul it came first, the little rogue. I knew what he was, and Gatilda ordered him hanged by law with that on the hunt. He was the first I got to tack in myself since coming to this town. Mm. And I'll remember it like it was yesterday. Does he know he's killing them? I think he does. Tell me about the second to leftmost man. Shivering with fright, I strung him up nice and slow, so as not to worry the poor dear. Tell me about the orc there, third from the left. Good me. He was one of Gratilda's. I asked her some impertinent question or other, I believe it was. Impertinent questions. A plague among we orcs, they are. Sending more death than horn rot these days. Mm. 
Well, Gutunga dispatched me, but it was all you collected that cried heavy deer and strike up here. Gutunga said he'd be a wound to the others, but I think he's a great addition to the family to boot. He died a lovely short pale green colour. Don't, don't he? Yeah. Like a dusty ancient jade. Beautiful. Beautiful. No one's hanging here. Oh no, they are. What's up, Cadilla? Tell me, how's your vision? Any ailments in the liver or spleen? Lost ones are everywhere these days, after all. Can I really just buy this from you? That seems highly irregular. Thank you. Can I take some away? I don't want to... Have... I'll buy your uh, scroll that lets me, you know, control people's souls, but I'm not being overcharged for it. There you go. Thank you. Tell about yourself. I'm a servant to the goddess, of course. One of the first among her enlightened in Revelon, and certainly the most devoted. Yes. I've scoured the region for unworthy souls, and am quite efficiently cleansing the land of lost ones, great and small. Mm. How much better the lost serve her as bone automatons. My expertise as a necromancer is unmatched, you know. Either success rate is nearing 99%. And what about the other 1%? They end up with their brains a bit, well, scrambled. You can find such a fellow opining over skulls somewhere around here. One of my more harmless false steps, I think. I'll take my leave. So what did I just <laughs> uncover? We obtained the totem from Cordelia, but we can't seem to activate it. Cordelia must have had a way to bring it to life. You there. Tell me. Wasn't there something about that in the pub? Or like the kitchen or whatever it is. Oh, I've got a book. Cordelia's library. Give me one of these books. I've got many of them. Uh, I've got a lot. <laughs> there it is, right. It fused these very pages of its power. Okay. The pages are infused. That's true, then I just need the book. Right. Or was it not quite that easy? Let's read it again. Uh, a simple pentagram unites totem and spell to ensnare or release the selected souls. The souls of the deceased are trapped within the totem. The fit. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, but there's a pentagram in that cellar that I need to put the totem on. Is what I actually need to do. I want to see if they, the skeleton friends, have anything to say about it. Now that I have the totem, I'll be like, yo, mate. I also want to go see Charlotte because I can upgrade the staff all the way, I think, now. I do declare I can upgrade the staff all the way. Um, sorry. Let's go talk to Orton. Yo. What's up, my dude? My, you're still alive. <laughs> Way to beat the odds, wonder. Thanks, man. <laughs> Way to beat the odds, you're still alive. Oh, thanks. Fucking appreciate that, you dick. Uh, what you got for me? Maybe nothing. It doesn't look like I can actually talk to him either. I'll take my leave. Right. I'm going to do something silly. Let's go to the harbour in Cecile. Go all the way back to Cecile. It's been a long time. And go speak to Charles because she's just around. Here we are. Those are some quests I can actually clear up here. But it will take a while. I'll do it, because it's worth doing, but... 
it honestly bothers me more that they're in the list rather than the fact that they're gone. Charla, hello. Yes, good friend. I'm quite busy finding for the moment, but if there's something you'd like to buy, I could set all that aside for a few delicious moments. I would like to set this aside because I'd like to buy this staff for 103 gold. For 103 gold. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Right. We have a staff that is oh, like basically underpowered. Completely underpowered. I can't well, I can equip the staff, but why would I? I can't actually use it. Single fuck. You don't need to do that. Yeah, there we go. Right, put that back. I think I need to combine them. Combine that with uh, the first part. This bit. It's Adventurous Staff 2. Combine Adventurous Staff 2 with the second bit. I think I have all the parts. I definitely have almost all the parts. It could have been someone else who collected them. I know I've picked up the gem. Who has the gem? Maybe Tio. Tio does have a lot of shit. Is it Jehan? Yeah, he has the gem. And he also has the carving. Okay, so... Joey, send this to him. Yeah. Right, craft that. And the part two, which is the carving. There. To make a staff level three. Combine the staff with the gem to make a staff level four. There you go. That's the best... Level 4 staff. It has 2 intelligence, 1 willpower, stunned, muted, cursed, and uh, is level 20. But I got it. So there you are. Sword kit, bow kit. I've got parts for lots of weapons. Um, but the staff is the one I wanted. Okay, cool. Onward. Sweet relief. So I don't think there's anything else we need to do. You know, just before, in case I do this and it like makes you disappear. I'll buy all the, the parts weapons. Moments. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye then, good friend. Good I'll buy all the part weapons because I want to be able to equip them as and when. Keep this for myself. Send this one to Tio because it's a level, it's a two-handed weapon. Send the bow to Bear Door because it's a level, it's a bow. Makes sense, right? Now, that's a really good one-handed, like, really, really good one-handed weapon. It gets three strength with one hand, and I could equip two and then dual wield. Which didn't actually make any difference to me, because my two-handed weapon skill is only one. The only reason I actually use this weapon is because it's what Tio started with, is a two-handed weapon. There's no, like, grand scheme. It's just, that's what I started with, I'm going to keep it. I'm just trying to lighten my load a bit. Oh boy. Well, that'll certainly help. There you go. Okay. Let's go back to Hunter's Edge. Now, Cordelia doesn't know that I have access to her house. I don't know if she'd be so willing to accept our uh, friendship if we can just literally walk in here and go underneath, which I can. I also know I need to make whiskey for something, but I can't remember what for. I know one of the orcs wants it, but fuck if I remember. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. In we go. Tra la 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 Put the bone totem on it. Bone totem. Oh yeah. 
Okay. There we go. Activate. speak but how I benefit from a magic more powerful than you could begin to comprehend it nourishes me and the souls I harbor feed it in kind. tell me about the priestess who crafted you Cordelia mother of lives and deaths she found the ancient spell that would give me life the spell that would consign those souls to me mm. You don't sound very happy or like friendly. I think I might destroy you. Tell me about the souls you harbor. Oh, that's sad. You're fucked. I'm taking you out. Their bones wander the earth as tradesmen. Content enough, their fate is not one to be mourned. They serve a purpose. Their corpses perform a function, do they not? And their souls give me delicious, agonizing, delicious life. I made a choice about the souls trapped within you. What if I destroy you, fucko? You cannot take them from me. You cannot have them. If we free them, the torment villain will be reunited after being so terribly abused. Let this evil weave its magic no more. Take them if you wish. There will be more. There will always be more. My kind will grow in ranks, and yours will serve only to save us. searching for so long I didn't think I'd ever find you all was darkness all was chaos never again may we never part again my love you're welcome now how's Cordelia gonna feel about that I mean she did just give me the totem so she clearly doesn't care that much I bought it off of her for a fair price. A respectable price. There's no reason why she should be upset with me. 400 gold it cost me. It's not fucking cheap. Let's go see. <laughs> Hello. Are you upset with me for selling the souls? You there. Tell me. How's your vision? Any day I am a servant. How much? Okay, well, that's fine. You don't mind. It's all good. Let's go see uh, my girl. Gratilda. It's almost Gruntilda, but she's different. She has a, uh, like a fortress. If I try and go in, will you be upset? Herschel. Um, you know what must be done. I see paintings. I must have them. Stealing fucking shit out of everything. Don't mind me. Now I'm too heavy. I came too heavy to live. Um... What's the heaviest thing I've got? I think it's all the potions. There we go. Right. Holy shit. Right, what's Herschel doing? Can I talk to him? 
I'm gonna wait for him to come out of his hiding place. There's Resk. Resk. You've got to the count of one to kneel before me. He did it. What? That boy? Oh, that's Resk. Hey Resk. Where are you going? Uh, hello? Yes. The old mother won't tolerate your distracting her red hen. What can you tell me about your master Gratilda? She is the son of the Ah, oh, it was a waste of time asking. The mother of all and the sister of none. We live in her shadow and at her feet. We live only to serve her. Of course. Let's do it with more whipping. Hey, Herschel. Oh, a new immaculate face in town. What a pleasure to serve you. I've a deal running now. A double the whiskey for any and all who refrain from beating me from the neck up and the crop. Tell me about yourself. Out. Oh, I'm nobody at all. Just the old tavern keeper in this here village. Things have been uh, <clears throat> busy since the orcs came, but I, uh, I've never been one to complain too much. That's a good way to keep your head. Well, especially with uh, with my wife and kids gone, I prefer to keep my eye on the prize. Oh, whiskey, of course. No excruciatingly terrible memory. A nice glass of the good stuff can't wash away. <laughs> what do you know about these hawks? Oh, swell guys, swollen as swell can be. Oh. I haven't a complaint in the world, not in the wide world. Keep me busy, they do. Day and night. I think he's night gone mad from his trauma. Day and night again. Oh, you might imagine me a wee bit utterly exhausted, but I wouldn't have it any other way. After all, the soul-crushing night terrors can't find you if you never sleep. <laughs> That's my motto. What do you know about this village? Well, the scenery's certainly changed in recent weeks, I'll tell you that much. Used to be a quiet sort of place. Family folks, you know. Never had much trouble, and all the less because our little town played host to a sauce hunter and a powerful wizard bow. Yeah, we've heard of her, Medora. Can't say why we were there, <clears throat> overcome so quickly. Uh, can't say why so many of us were cut down over those shiny stones. An immaculate like you know better than me, I suppose. Yes, I suppose an immaculate just like you might have been the one who held my son's head back while Gratilda sliced his throat open. Eh? Oh, but... Who's got time to think on the I'm not past? talking about that. That's just sad. That way lies danger, I say. I only know that these orcs are a thirsty <laughs> lot. It's my job to keep my head down and the whiskey. Let's won't. discuss the armory key. What about it? I can't say I know a thing about the armory, but I'll say bring yes, the do. occasional flag into the guards there. But I've delivered a drink from barracks to bridge in the course of my work. You can tell me what you know about the armory key now. I can ask Katoda to take up the matter for me. Come, come now. No need to disturb the, uh, uh, the old mother with this little trifle. I'll tell you what I know. And mm -hmm. It happens to be quite a lot. I did happen upon the key while I was making my round. Oh, really? I wasn't sure to what end the orcs were using that armory, oh. so I thought it best to keep its key. Well, I'll take it from your hands. It's in a locked chest in the cellar below this very tavern. The key to the chest is yours, but I beg you not to reveal my treachery. I've grown rather attached to my eyelids, after all. Good. What can I do you for? What do you know about the rat catcher? Now there, oh, there's a man apart from the rest, even among their kind. He's a strange sort. Nurses the same flagon of whiskey for an hour and sits in the corner by himself. Oh, but the lack of company don't keep him from making conversation. Mm. Always muttering beneath his sour breath he is for arguing some point of his left hands against a better sense of the right. I tell you, someone like that's twice as terrifying as one of these big ornery brutes. At least you can see their clubs coming down in time to jump out the so way. So you're prepared of whiskey, are you? That I am. But I'll tell you, I never served a lot quite like these Goliaths. They drink like elephants and pay like... Well, they don't pay at all. Then again, I can't say I mind this little arrangement too terribly. The happier they are, the longer I evade the rack and the scroll. Mm. Each glass brings us closer to the last of the whiskey, though. My bowels shrink when I think what'll happen when we get to the bottom of the last barrel. 
We've already exhausted the tavern supply. But I've been pilfering from my old buddy Glen stores. I doubt he'll mind, seeing as he was one of the first orcs sunk their claws into. Right. Now, that was a man dedicated to fine liquor. <laughs> Knew all there was to know about distilling whiskey, he did. Oh, oh what I'd give for a barrel of Glen's good stuff now. <laughs> These orcs wouldn't know what hit them. You want some whiskey? Twirling. Oh, okay. Okay, I can, get, I can get you some. I can get you some. Don't worry. The Baum and Herschel admit to find the keys to the armor. He gave us access to the tavern cellar office so we can retrieve it. I need to go to the cellar. Where's the tavern cellar? It should be underneath. Like behind the bar? No? I'm just not seeing it then. I'm just being a blind boy. Don't worry. Oh, it's down here. That way. It's just look at that. At the front. Okay, so let's find the book that says how to make whiskey. And then put it somewhere so I can refer back to it every time without having to worry about it. I'm reading them just very quickly. So it is right. The art of whiskey. So let's put this in a pouch with the on its own, so I can always see it. Right. Single bottle whiskey. Start to get some barley. Get some barley and then mill it. Okay. So let's go get some barley from the barley fields. We'll make a couple of whiskies. Can't go this far. Oh, because it thinks the door's closed. Because once you teleport, the game forgets. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't forget, but sometimes it does. Okay, right, so, to the barley. We need, I'll get three. We'll work with three, and then we need to mill it. Right, three barleys. I'm warm as fresh apple pie. Come on, pick it. Oh, I pick up a sack. Okay, that's fine. Potent heat. Uh, so let's go to type. Where's the barley gone? Latest added. Sack of barley. That's a sack of barley. We'll get Jayhan to do it all. Right, so we've got the barley. Now we need to grind it up, mill it. According to the art of whiskey. The harvest mill to create grist. Okay, that's fine. I've never made alcohol in my life. I've drank it, but I don't make it. So, it's all news to me. Right, put it in the, the miller. To the skin. Or Jayhan can do it. Combine with that, with that, to make a sack of grist. Okay, so we've got grist. Then, with the grist, we go to the mill, right, and mix it with water to create, like, um, a slop. Yeah, a brown wort with well water, and it'll become a fast, a rich brown wort. So we need to go to the well. There'll be a well outside somewhere, probably. If I know any. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, I could do with a cold drink. Where would it be? Where would it be? Where would the well be? There'll be a well somewhere around here. Don't you worry about it. Just gotta find the well. Light it high. Let me find the well. Oh, it's here. Behind the boys. Is that what you call those thimbles on your toesies? <laughs> you won't mind me using the well, will you? No? To save in case they have a problem with me using the well. Right. Jayhan. Get the grill, uh, grist, mix it with the well. Oh. No, I know. I need a bottle. An empty bottle. Uh, Jerry's got an empty bottle. I've got like 1,200 empty bottles. I took some because I knew I'd need them. They're keeping the peace for now. 
keeps orders. Battle the tusks yours to keep in the meantime. Did I not take any empty bottles? Could have sworn I did. Empty potion bottle. Yeah, this will work. Okay. Empty potion bottle. What? The fuck? They need like a bucket. Maybe I need a bucket. Oh. Where am I gonna find a fucking bucket? Oh. Right next to it. Derp. Combine the bucket. A bucket full of water. Okay. Now. Now get the bucket full of water. Trade it to Jahan. Then get Jahan to craft it. Now we got wart. Okay, now that wart. I think there's a time element to this, so I have to be quick. Uh, increase the wart's alcoholic content by way of a pot still. Okay. No, 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 not in here. In here. The pot still is in the house where we got the totem. So you mix the wart with the pot still, but then you have to wait decades. Unless the whiskey's fine to drink immediately, but they want it to age to be a nice whiskey. So you just have, like, kind of not aged whiskey, but it is drinkable. Right, pot still. It's underground. Wait, where was it? I know it was here somewhere. What? Brain, brain, brain. Focus. Where's the pot still? Where is the pot still? Is it in here with the thing? Could be in the room with the thing. Uh. Yes. It's here. It's where the mill is. Is this an actual windmill? No, it's a water mill. So there's no, like, windmill blades. The water wheels here. It's a big water wheel. Made of wood. Went to an iron water wheel once. It was really interesting. Because I'm a boring fuck. But it was too like super duper interesting. Dangerous though. Okay. Let's go to the pot still. Wait, why did I pick up another bucket? I don't know. <laughs> a second bucket. Wait, this isn't a pot still. The pot still looks like a giant, you know, pot still. It must be in his house. He's the one who does it. It makes no sense any other way. My brain is, like, misfiring all over the place. I don't understand. What? It's not in the tavern, is it? There wouldn't be a still in the tavern because it's not a distillery. But I've definitely seen one in this town. Where the fuck is the still? Nah, I'm, I'm tripping. God, this is sick. Did I really like miss it? Like it was literally in here and I just didn't <laughs> I didn't see it. It's a big fucking massive thing. I saw it and said, I think I mentioned it when I saw it, and I was like it must be used to make the whiskey, but I can't remember who wanted it. I thought that's what I said. Oh, this is going to annoy me. Where the fuck is it? Right, have a, look, a proper look around the room. Shit. Where is it? What the fuck? Oh, hang on. Before I go running around anywhere. Let me fucking Google it. Because I don't 
I can't see it, and it's going to drive me mad. Hey, conduit's orders. But still. Best not to get on her bad side. You know that. Sir, yeah, you can't. Yeah, but her orders don't no. come at me. You uh, cannot. She you will find yourself a sheep if you're so bloody up and bonnet. I haven't even asked a question. That is me, Colossus, until there's nothing. And I do hurt too, so I want to secure she's back. Okay, okay. The basement of Glenn's house. This is Glenn's house. I think. Next to his desk is a pot still. This must not be his house. But I've seen this still. I'm looking at a screenshot. Am I literally the blindest human being on the fucking planet? Where the shit is it? <sighs> brain, 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 please, brain. <laughs> 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 This can't be his house. Unless I destroyed the still, like an idiot. Did I do that? My head's actually hurting with how retarded I must be to not understand this. Is this Glenn's house? Oh, no, it's there's Glenn's house. Okay, so I was in the wrong house. Fair enough, fair enough. At least I understand now. I could have sworn that's where I got the art of whiskey, though. Apparently not. Derp, derp. Thank you, guide. You've helped me out immeasurably. Now you must go. Because I have uh, solved the puzzle a different way. So technically the guide didn't even help me. But it put me on the right path that this was the wrong house. Okay. Here it is. There's my boy. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. We got some spirits. Good shit. Right. Also found your key. Oh, I haven't actually got it yet. I just know where it is. Okay, okay. Right, that was a little bit off track, but we've got it back. We're bringing it back on track. But see, this is the thing. Like, before, I would have spent an hour looking for it and getting all upset. Just look it up. There's no shame in looking it up if you don't know where it is. Ah. We need to, we need to go to the end of time. But, while I'm already here, let's go get the key. steal some things some things never change and I always am thieving not in real life I'm not an idiot I don't want to go to prison but I, uh, I tend to in games thieve thieve a lot well we've got the key in any case now to return it to one worthy party or other or have a look at that armory ourselves I'll bet these soldiers keep a fine collection of equipment. Here's the secret. Um, the secret cellar goes down there. Baking like a cake. Now where's the armory? Let's have a look. Person warehouse, ransacked house, mill. They only dropped it around here. This isn't where the armory is. 
Either way, I'll go give it to him. I'm going to kill him anyway, but I might as well just give it to him. Let's not fuck about. I don't see the problem. Let's talk to these two again. I heard you overheard you whispering together. You're in love, aren't you? What? That's that's disgusting. A tiny pink flesh human and a naught like myself. Why? I've got eyes for the great oh, yeah. Matilda alone. Oh we 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 can't hide forever. Hide what? You think this stranger knows anything about the two of us, Alfrey? I tell you now, that twelve don't know a thing. Enough, fully. Enough. Surely this stranger has no reason to put us in harm's way. We're all sworn immaculates here, are we not? There are certain secrets that... that perhaps we, beneath the goddess's eye, hmm. may share in good faith. Tell me a story. Well, first thing you have to understand, we orcs aren't made for love at all. No, we're born devoted to our queen, and to her we turn all our attentions. To seek fulfillment outside the Queen's graces. Well, it's a treason committed only once in a red moon among we orcs. And the penalty is a terrible death. Okay, okay. When we first took the village, I couldn't tell Alfred apart from the rest of the pink little land scurrying about. A human was a human, as far as I was concerned. Okay. As for me, you all stood out right away. Oh. The curve of his horns, mm. his, his regal bearing. Oh. Was fascinated. Hmm. I, I'd never seen an orc as anything but an enemy. I, I suddenly, I, I couldn't keep my eyes off this great green brute. Oh, yeah, tell me more. Oh, yeah. Was staring wolf great was green brute. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were aiming to slit my throat the way you were watching me. Mm. I, I couldn't help myself. It, it was almost supernatural. But when Ulo marched over to me, club in hand, to address my strange behaviour, something happened. I pulled my trousers down right then and there. Love at first sight, if you could believe it. I came over aiming for a fight, but all I found in Alfred's eyes was, well, whatever it was, he hasn't left me since. Seems I must make a choice regarding how to handle this curious situation. Please, if you've any mind for sparing two fellows a terrible fate, You'll swear to keep our secret to yourself. Mm. We committed no sin greater than experiencing a love as sweet and pure as any. But if we were discovered... If you attack me, I'll kill you both. We swear indeed, we'll not see anyone harmed for daring to love. And so let us speak the oath. Yes. Your secret is safe with us. Indeed. Oh, friend. Your words are a great relief. I can't explain how or, or why you found these feelings, but there's one thing I know for certain. We are no traitors, and our service to the cause remains true. Your discretion is worth its weight in gold. Goddess bless you. Of course. I say you're I'm, not so a, stupid. I'm not a complete dick. I, uh, love's love, you know? It, within certain bounds. Oh, mate. You see? What? what do you know about the key to the armory? Oh, okay, so you don't know anything about it. Let's discuss the key. You know what happened to I do. Come then, out with it. Uh, well, we have the key. We might as well hand it over. Who knows? He may even reward us for our trouble. That's all one. Oh, well, I can breathe a bit easier now that that's settled. Wouldn't surprise me elixir, you humans passed it among yourselves just to make me sweat. But boy, does it feel good to have a back in my pocket. Here, go on and have this, why don't you? And, um, thanks. You're welcome. See, Joey, sometimes he's a good boy. I, I try my best. I'm altruistic. I'd prefer to I don't need the armory. My armor, my weapons and armor are good. We can just give him the fucking key and then be gone with it, you know? I'm not going to tell us all about the, the affair. Except Crotilda, am I right, ladies? 
Let's go tell the boss straight away. No, I'm kidding. That would make me a complete twat. This is exactly why I'm going to do it. No, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> or am I? Who knows with Joey? Who knows? He's a crazy enigma, that one. Mental. Right. Up we go. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? One, two, we. What? We. I've got loads of paintings for you, Jahan. 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 Oh, he's making himself fall over on purpose. Okay. Poor little toys. Poor quiet. I am on the trail, toys. Source Hunter. He's special. I'm just fine. Ah, because he so talks to them. And you? Norok, the butcher, the executioner, the mighty. Toys. Poor quiet toys. Just get more paintings. Oh boy. Murdered in their beds. At least they didn't suffer. The villagers left to the Orc Queen suffered far worse fate. Yeah. I mean, it's not really much of a better fate, but it is better. They didn't spare a soul. None that couldn't serve them whiskey anyway. It is better to die like this than to be in eternal servitude forever and suffer. Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a little talk. Alright, mate. Yeah, new toys, new toys. Uh, where's mum? What's, what's she want me to do with you? What do you mean by mum? Mum. Oh, the best mum in the whole wide world. Usually, hawks like me, scramble headed, you brothers call me, are killed right away. But Mum says she took one look at me and knew I'd be the best warrior in the world. Is this, is, is this is almost sweet? I... She brings me lots of toys and friends, and she showed me all the best games to play. At first, I, I didn't like how the toys would holler and cry when I'd make ribbons of them or play eyeball pop. But Mum taught me that that's how they show they're happy. First, they scream for joy, and then they take a long, long nap. Oh dear. Oh, are you leaving? Um. I'll miss you lots. Oh, when are you coming back? I don't know that I can kill him. <laughs> He's such a sweet boy. Hello. But at the same time, um. At the same time, Under pressure. I don't know that I can permit him to live because he's a fucking massive executioner. He needs to be rid. If I don't kill him now, it's going to be bad for me. Really, really bad for me. Please, no. Please. Leave me be. Crippled. Okay, that'll work. Summon a Skelebob. Get him some more targets to flank. Yes. Okay. Can I... Mayhaps freeze you? Let's try. You may be immune. No, he has 86% chance to resist it, but he's not immune. Stabby, stabby. We'll try a bleed. It worked. Yay. Okay. Fair daughter. Let's go for a bit of the old doing nothing. To save our AP. Okay. Now, we do the old get the fuck out of here, boy. Teleport him away, like way the fuck away. Over here. See ya. 
And then Tia's gonna save energy too, and Joey's gonna save energy too. Don't cry. It'll, it'll be ended soon. Trust me. I'll put an end to this. You shall fear no more. I'm sorry, but... If I let you live, you're going to cause me a lot of problems when I go and fight Gotilda. Lots and lots of problems. Feeling hot under the collar. Okay. So let's walk to the end of time and say, Hey, Zixax, could you uh, make this whiskey like 200 years old, please? More party animals. <laughs> Fucking have it. Please. Hello. Good to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Your imp problem appears to be quite solved. Well, I'm not pleased about it, I'll tell you that much. Loath am I to tamper in the threads of time, but if I were a lesser imp, I might have stuck my fingers in that tapestry and plucked out your strand myself. Handing them to the watch like that, it was a Oh, come on. <clears throat> Excuse me, my friend, I, I seem to have lost my temper. Let us carry on then, shall we? Six acts of age is fresh spirit into fine whiskey. Before you ask, it's for the good of Rivalon. Heavy is the hand that wields time. If you're very certain this sort of meddling is strictly necessary, I suppose I could oblige. No, it won't be difficult. I'll simply pop your little mixture into a deep, dark basement and revisit it. Shall we say 30 years in the future? That'll work. Homestead on the shop. What did I tell you? Now, be careful with this libation, will you? I had just the tiniest sip myself, and I must say, it's quite potent. I'll take my leave. Thank you. Six has helped us create an excellent 30 year old whiskey. Hell, shall will gladly hand out his fine spirit to the unruly orcs. Yes. Or keep it for yourself, and then we can drink it together, you and I. Uh, no, uh, they need it because it will keep him alive. I guess. I'll drink the whiskey with you. 30 year old whiskey sounds like a great time. But I mean, if you're going to do it 30 years in the future, why not age it for like 100? Does it matter how many years it is? It's like a. Well, the, I guess the barrel might cork and it would make the liquid shit. If you took too long. The barrels, I mean rot. I don't mean cork, because cork's cork. I mean, like, the barrel would rot. Perhaps. Hey, Herschel. What can I do you for? I've got a batch of aged whiskey right here. And what's more, I'll let you serve it to the orcs. Let's have a look. Well, I'll be Gratilda's great and Gretchen. Single malt, aged... It seems my old foul glenied away his finest spirits Indeed. for a rainy day. A shame to waste something so fine on... Well, but something this delectable ought to put them in a more gentle spirit. Herschel, that chest was trapped. You need to kill me. What? You opened the chest and you said... Th that is, you must have found the key, no? You swine. Excellent. I don't know a thing about a trap. But you're quite fine, I see. <laughs> I'm glad. First he tries to kill us, then he lies to our faces. Has he gone mad? He must have if he'd pull a suicidal move like attempting to murder an immaculate. Wouldn't you have gone mad too, immaculate pig? Their faces. The butcher, the baker, my... My wife, my son. I see them. Night and day as I pour. Well, I've already got the experience for the whiskey, so. Well, I got a pixel in the interest of keeping murderers drunk and happy. I'll not serve a moment longer. I'm not an immaculate. May your curdled blood run. The goddess must be 
smiling upon you. I can show a particularly rare batch of whiskey here. Who's first? Hi. 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 <laughs> what? I was saying it's bad, but I'm not an immaculate, you fucking dick. Right. Whatever. Herschel, come here. I'm talking to you. What can I do you for? That I am. Each glass. Now that what? We might have done the same in this year's course. The all. events here in Hunter's Edge have driven him to the brink of sanity. One can hardly blame him for trying to eliminate an immaculate. The events in this village. Uh, yeah, yeah. The events in this village. Yeah, yeah. yeah the events in this village. Uh, oh, God! How I pray for this waking nightmare to end. What did I get for that? Forgiving. So I wasn't vindictive. But that's okay. Like, right, I mean, just need to go back to the end of time and get him to give me the whiskey again. Also, Zigzags can fuck off. He wanted the uh, imps to go. I get rid of the imps and he's upset with me. What? I know I sent them back to a life of servitude and that's not good. But at the same time, they did murder their way out of the place in the first place. Good to see. What did I tell you? Now, yep. uh, be careful with this libation, will you? Well, I'm not him. Excuse me. I'll just uh, do that because I want to make sure the text is the same next time I see it so I don't get confused as to what I did and didn't do. Okay. La la la. La 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 la. Where am I going? I've got to go walk back to Hunter's Edge. Rip. What I would like in this uh, waypoint, if there's a mod for it, is to have tabs. Sci Seal tab, Lakula tab, Phantom Forest tab, just so I could see more easily where exactly each place is rather than having to scroll. It's a very minor thing, but that's like the utilitarian side of my brain that says it'd be nice if it was all organised in a nice way. Why is there a third? Oh, okay. I was going to say, why is there a third bloke? Did I kill the guy with in this safe bar? Yeah, he's dead. Shh. I mean, he's uh, fine. <laughs> Sleeping. He's slepping. Okay, here you go. Here's some whiskey for you. Right, so we leveled up. I'm going to end the episode here, but I want to level up first. Finally. More constitution. Yes. More constitution. Oh, 1500 health. Nearly 1600. Or more strength. Mm, no, I'm thinking more constitution, baby. Right. More dexterity for bear daughter, obviously. Could go for some more strength, but it wouldn't do anything for me, really. I'm going to constitution on everyone. Over a thousand health, nearly a thousand health, over a thousand health, nearly a thousand health. Next level will all be over a thousand, no problem, easy peasy every time. Um, that's done. Okay, right. Now we'll talk to Gratilda, very briefly, just have a little word. Right, my love. Perhaps you haven't heard, well. Every time a foot soldier disturbs me, I take his head to compensate for my time. Uh, what can you tell me about the so-called Spinebreaker? The deer has certainly earned his moniker. Norok is my best boy, the pinnacle of orcish devotion. Um, his child's mind and brick hard about that. arms make him the perfect soldier. Whatever I say, Norok will do. And with a gleeful smile upon his simple face all the while. It would do you well not to cross me, Welp. For if I tire of dealing with you, I'll simply have you sent upstairs to the yeah. Spinebreaker. He knows just what to do <laughs> um, with the toys Mummy Dearest sends him. Let's discuss your orcs. What can you say? Let's discuss the Rat Catcher. I've had the pleasure of making his acquaintance. Careful. He was only just released from the Hangman's cells. 
What was the case? Ah, yes. I believe he ordered his rats to chew out the tongues of every last infant within a Western Orcish tribe. Jesus. An answer to some insult or other from the tribe's all-mother. Also, I heard, he's dangerous, yes, and quite mad. But I'd trust him with my own neck. There's not an orc in Rivalin that would dream of crossing Butilda, no matter how mad. Do you know what fall in love with one of Jarl's tribesmen? One of my boys, in love with one of Jarl's. Perhaps the All Mother ought to investigate this matter personally. Nothing sets an orc on the straight and narrow, like the humble ear of his sovereign and sworn mistress, after all. That's that one done. Let's see if this pans out. I'm sure she'll be fine with it, right? I'm sure she'll be fine with it. She's not gonna like lash out or anything, right? <laughs> right, lads. Don't, 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 um, don't, don't worry about it. It's all good. Also, this unlocks the cellar because I can just walk through the room without worrying about it. But, while I'm here anyway, might as well see how this pans out, right? I ended the episode five minutes early last time. We can go a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. I will fix this dog. That's my ultimate goal. Fuck the fucking void and that. I'm fixing this dog's throat. It will be able to speak to me once more. Just me. You there, boys. Can it be true? You claim to love this human scum? No, 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 old mother. I only have eyes for you. Of course. Do not lie to your old mother, boy. Or she'll use your esophagus for a leg warmer. My old mother. So you admit to this affair? Yes, There, we have the truth. Very good, Kuguka. As for this transgression, I trust that in the last several moments, you realized your terrible error. Yes, Mother. Terrible errors, never to be repeated. And I suppose I can trust you never to so much as glance at this worm-fleshed fool again? Yes, mother, of course. As I thought. There now. Oh, Lord. Calm yourself. The old mother cannot tolerate such bloody things. Excuse me. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go on a limb and say I want to go back on that one. I mean, what did I expect to happen, really? The thing. Let's discuss the wizard's missing servants. Very obvious. Who better than a cow to bring a frightened calf back into the herd? Surely you and that bootlicker's sensibility of yours ought to have an insight or two into where a servant might seek sanctuary. Our rat catcher, regrettably, seems to be in need of some direction in the matter. Yes. I, I see. I see that. Okay. Well, goodbye. What if we, about, we speak to the Jarl about it and be like, Mate, the Orma will fucking kill him, but if you are nice... Uh, they'll probably just leave and be good with it. You can be good with it, you know. Yarl. Feeling hot under the May your sword never sully, and your shield never shatter. Gratilda's Gratilda storm. Let me just uh, go through this until I see. The conduit. She needn't Gratilda. She nothing with this. Aye. Nevertheless, we would merely kill him. The blood spoke the bro last night. I just want to see if there's any dialogues. God, the conduit. Now we're here waiting for further. I don't know. The deal is the wizard and my men and ought. Okay, well. What a stupid thing to die! I've sodden all the way to my boots. 
souls. There's nothing for me to do there, so I need to find the entrance to her secret lair without her knowing about it. She's kind of drunk right now. This could be a good time to find things. See ya. Right, let's become invisible. Find hidden buttons, hidden switches, and the like. Ah. Aha. Let's stay out here so we can walk back to him. Uh, to her. Right, I'll see you next time when we explore the hidden cellar. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.